if you don't stand up for yourself, what are you going to do when you meet the bully? Did anyone see the, uh, the video I did yesterday about the bully? Yeah. Do we meet bullies in, you know, we met them in the schoolyard, and unfortunately we're all grown up here. Sometimes we meet bullies in business, don't we? Yes. Okay. How do you handle a bully? Do you act like the child who screams and kicks? Like the, the bully sometimes acts like the child and is overpowering, is trying to be intimidating, talks louder than everyone else, talk, doesn't let you answer questions. Has, anybody, has everybody met that jerk? Yeah. A, a I met or worked with that jerk? Yes. We've all met. Anybody want to comment on that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Claude. Uh, this is Marcos. Uh, um, some of the training and some of the psychology things that I've taken throughout the years say uh, a bully uh, I have a bully on the phone and he's he's a shark not only is he a bully but he's also a shark I was taught to match him to mimic him through through num numerous courses in the psycho psychology thing so if he talks loud you kind of talk loud if he's kind of aggressive you be aggressive or if they're real quiet you be real quiet but then on what you said yesterday on the shark or I'm sorry on the bully is way different so just wanted to bring that up well, let me, let's, this is a great premise for a discussion. What happens, and let's just go back to the animal world. What happens if you put two roosters in the hen house? You're going to fight. Right. You're going to have a fight. Why, you know, and that's just the way animals are. With a bully, do you think when you're, when you're getting into a screaming match or they talk loud, you talk louder, they interrupt you, you interrupt them, are we getting closer to being uh, sensible, mature adults who can communicate and solve a problem, or are we just pushing each other back and getting madder and madder? Madder and madder. And why are we in business? To make I'm money. And money that today. And we have to outthink these people who, for whatever reason, maybe their mother never hugged them or something. Uh, I, I, you know, or they, I find that a lot of bullies have gone through life because no one ever stood up to them. And I'm not looking to get into a fight with anyone. It doesn't serve any purpose for me. I don't make money, and I just get aggravated the rest of the day. Okay? So we have to be the adult in the room. We have to say, you know, and use logic. Sometimes we can reach people with logic. They're, the person who screams the lot, a lot or interrupts, they're usually more, would you agree with me, that they're more emotional, you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. They're, 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 go ahead. Jump in there, um, Sean, or whoever. No, I was just going to say I, I, I agree. That's why they tend to, to blow up quicker and, uh, and, and things escalate. And like you said, that doesn't bring you any closer to getting uh, getting a deal done. It doesn't it actually get moves you further away. Did you ever get into a fight with just a jerk and you argued with them and it exacerbated? It went worse and worse. And you did, and that kind of stuff sticks with me all day. It ruins my day. It ruins my outlook. It ruins my my disposition. It just it takes away from what I really. I want to be happy. I want to have fun. I want to make money. And we've got to learn to control these situations with these, with these type of people. Sometimes we can reach them, you know, by, by talking, by just going in the opposite direction and trying to make them into an adult, maybe using a gut statement. Or yeah, that's role play. 